Hello friends, welcome to Writing for the Week. This week we are finishing our stories, can you believe it? You have written a whole story, beginning, middle, and end, all by yourself. I could not be prouder of you or more impressed. So I wanted to share with you my last page of my story. If you remember last week on Writer's Workshop, <laughs> Sammy had thought and thought and he had an idea and he called our class for help. So there was Sammy on the phone. So, my last page of my story says Mrs. Weller's class rode their space bus and picked Sammy up. They headed back to Earth. And there is my picture of our bus. I added a little detail and all of you, your little heads on the bus. And we are headed back to Earth with a very happy Sammy. So, this last page, your ending, is kind of just wraps everything up. So, you had your beginning where you introduced your problem, your middle where you introduced your solution, and then finally what happens because of your solution, kind of the happily ever after, how does it all finish and wrap up? So um, I did, let's see, two sentences on mine. You could do even just one. So something that comes to mind when I was unpacking your bags this weekend, I saw my friend Lily's story where her character turned into a mermaid and dove into the ocean was the middle of her story. So her ending might be that she pulled the friend out of the water and everyone was safe and sound. So it's really just wrapping everything up. You should be able to say the end at the end of your story. So let me read through my entire story and let me know what you think. Mine is called Sammy Needs Help by Mrs. Weller. One day, Sammy was taking a nice flight on his spaceship. All of a sudden, his spaceship crashed into the moon. Sammy thought and thought. Then he had an idea. He called Mrs. Weller's class for help. Mrs. Weller's class rode their space bus and picked Sammy up. They headed back to Earth. The end. So, friends, I want you to work really hard on this last page. Uh, another reminder that your pages, I want to see your beautiful illustrations. If I just showed you this, that's not nearly as engaging or interesting for your reader than if I introduce my picture as well. So... I want to see some really nice, colorful illustrations. You are the author and the illustrator of this story. I can't illustrate it for you. This is your vision, your idea, so I need you to be working hard on your illustrations also. Friends, I cannot wait, and I, when I tell you that, I mean it. I cannot wait to see your stories all put together this week when you send them, home, send them back to school in your bags. I'm so proud of you. You are authors. I, well, I was going to say I can't believe it, but I can. You all worked so hard in Writer's Workshop when we were at school that it makes total sense that you'd continue to work hard at home during all of this craziness. All right, friends, best of luck with your third page. I can't wait to see them. Bye-bye.